this worked? God, I did a damn good job. <laughs> good job, fam. <laughs> good job, man. That was great. You read that like well you're native. Then. I am. From pastor to demonologist. <laughs> Oh, so it is, yeah. It, but it looks like looks like you're putting it uh, in, in like a needle in there and inject it. I got mm. a scorpion vodka. Look at that. It's got a. Now the worst part about that, bro, when I did it. Oh my god, that's oh, all right. Oh my, eyes all right. oh my it's god. Fine. It's fine. Right, yeah, yeah, calm down, calm down. <sighs> we can do this. We can do no, this. I promise you, we can do it. There's no way you can eat that. That. My god. Oh my god. And I had to get out. Oh my god. Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy A1 Solution, or you can call me Anthony. We have a video talking about paranormal files. Um, I have a couple things we're gonna talk about here, and one thing you wanna stick around for is the last thing I talk about. It's very important. Um, you probably see it in the title, right? Uh, we have something huge, huge happening next week. I, I was waiting for this to, to drop this. I wanted to drop you know, I'm a freestyle video and another video where I talk about five best ways. So go check out those videos if you want to. I'll pop up the the uh, thumbnails there if you want to go check those out. But, but so I got a couple things here. I'm going to screenshot this here. Uh, if you leave a comment like this on my videos, you're a part of the problem. Oh, yeah. And by trying to keep people silent and from speaking out against child predators and pedophile rings, it seems like you're supporting pedophiles. Not the best look, Dylan. Uh, so this is what the person said. He said, another video on this stuff. You must love researching it so much. Absolutely sick obsession you've got, Colin. Get some help. So Colin replied, it's a desire to expose pedophiles, predators, that target children. It's more concerning to me that you'd rather people stay silent. You are a, pro you are a part of the problem. Uh, and, and you want, you pretty much are saying you want people to continue harming children without being exposed. I get, I get it. I got it. You support it. Great. So another thing he also posted, this was like three days ago. He posted, honestly, the paranormal community at times has become so toxic that it made me want to step away from it to a degree. There are some genuinely incredible, amazing souls in this, in, in, this, in this community that I've been blessed to meet and befriend and so many amazing ghost hunters and curious minds out there. But there has been negativity brewing that I've felt for the last few years, a negativity that at times is not only completely unnecessary, but transcends skepticism and speculation and morphs into hatred, jealousy and anger and just straight up bad vibes. Don't really know what to do to fix it, but I'm so happy we have spooky family uh, that we have and have the spooky family that we have and I'm generally blessed to be around, surrounded by such incredible friends and family, love y'all. So one thing I wanna talk about this is, you know, I do agree with that, man, but you know, Colin is also friends with Corey Shear, right? And if he knows what's happened between that, that is that's one thing that I agree with. You know, I was you know, I was very angry, bro. But that is different, man. Like I'm a fan, bro. Imagine being a fan for seven plus years, and someone you look up to does not talk to someone like a professional person. Doesn't communicate and talk to them. That's why I talk. I just want a little brief. You know, intermission here. Why I talked about Corey, right? Because it kind of transcends and kind of, it kind of, because I did speculate. Well, I, I didn't say speculate, but a lot of it was opinion and, and fact and theories and. Oh man, you're oh. Up burn bad. Hey, well now you can sue Elton. <laughs> How great is that? We never signed anything. Yeah. Connor, <laughs> <laughs> start acting like it hurts. Man. Oh. <laughs> Just thoughts, you know, because as a fan, you know, you're, you're gonna feel a certain way, man. This dude, this dude walked away like a, and I, that's not. I'm just saying that's how I felt at the moment. That's what I felt at at the moment. Now I'm just like, now I don't even give a damn, you know. I don't give a damn. But mine, it seems like hatred, jealousy, and more. It, it is anger in my part, right? But the thing is, is it wasn't hate. It was more so I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. You know what I mean? That's the word I want to use in my videos. I wasn't, it wasn't hate. It was more so disappointed. 
and it wasn't jealousy it was more about caring about his career right so there's a little ex explanation right so because it, it kind of sounds like this right it kind of sounds like he's talking about me but not really because mine's different disappointed I cared about his career, I cared about his views, I cared about his money, I care about everything, but it's not going to be the same. And he's going to need, he, the one thing he's going to need is he's going to need to get popular people on his channel to even get views. That's how it's going to be. I mean, Corey can't do it himself. Long story short. But uh, the one thing I do want to talk about is he's going to expose something next week. Not sure if it's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and he's been saying you've been lied to a lot. Um, this is something I'm very curious about. I'm very curious to see what's going to be happening and what he's going to talk about. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll read some of the comments, but um, if anyone does know what he is talking about, is it the pedophile stuff? Could it be that? Could it be the toxicity in the community? Could it be that too? And that is something I do agree. I do feel like people think I was, you know, hating and attacking Corey. Not really. Uh, like I said, I was disappointed. I was you know, frustrated that his career was not going to be the same. I feel like it's going to make things awkward between Elton and Corey. It'd just be weird, you know, and people, you know, and this is, you know, if you've ever had a high school friendship where this has happened, it's, it's the same thing. It's like, it's just weird. You know what I mean? But I, I really do hope they make up one day and just kind of squash it, do a live stream later on in the future. I, I think that would be best if Corey and Elton, I think that'd be nice, man. I think that'd be nice. It would clear things. It would fix things. It would stop the toxicity that's one thing is because since this happened is it made people you know be biased become biased and stick to one side and then they don't support the other person no more even though they like them it's just they don't because their favorite you know it's just it's just a bunch of, it's just bad it's just really bad that's why i wanted Corey to talk because that would be allevi alleviated and it would stop that from happening because people would still watch Corey, people would still watch elton without worrying about nothing but the way it's the way it happened is just not good but that's just my two cents man and uh you know i i wish cory the best i wish i wish him the best and i wish his you know candle business the best i wish his videos and i do have a th i do have a thought for him too i do have an idea for a video i want him to investigate his home investigate your home that's an idea see i'm giving him help i'm giving him tips here go go to your house go to your house go to your home and because i think that's where the portal is i think that's where you are you know kind of like trapped go there and even and even if you want go back to cecil go back to you know the lighthouse you know what i mean try finding a way to the lighthouse you know what i mean go with a couple friends or something like that and try to maybe there's portals maybe you know if you're if you're, if you're thinking you're haunted and stuff like that f go back to these places and try to close portals and stuff like that you know what i mean but that's just a little thought um i can't wait to see what he's going to talk about i think it's either pedophile or maybe you know community stuff but you know i just wanted to let people know as i do i am a conduit my name is a one solution this is anthony's one solution my name is anthony the a means anthony the one means means in one person a one means a one and the solutions all that coming together this is the circle of life we out here bust and fuego chewing bubblegum kicking butt saving the day knowing is half the battle and uh this is a place where we stay hydrated and stay safe. And make sure you take care of yourself and have a great day. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. Go check out my other videos. Go check out my other videos and take care. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> no,